Hi everyone, this is Ganga from Biomedical Engineering Department, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. This is the one of the subject of Biomedical Engineering Department students at third year. The subject name is Virtual Instrumentation using LabVIEW. In this subject, there are five units are there. In first unit, the introduction about the virtual instrumentation using LabVIEW. In this unit, there are five to six topics are there. In this video, we will see about the first topic, virtual instrumentation architecture. This is the architecture of virtual instrument. It consists of processing module, data interface, database, information system interface, information system, sensor interface, sensor module, and user interface display and control. First, we will see about the sensor module. Sensor module performs signal conditioning and transform it into a digital form for further manipulation. Once the data are in a digital form on a computer, they can be displayed, processed, mixed, compared, stored in a database or converted back to an analog form for further process control. The database can also store configuration setting and signal records. The sensor module interfaces a virtual instrument to the external, mostly analog world transforming measured signals into computer readable form. A sensor module principally consists of three main parts. The first one is the sensor, second one is the signal conditioning part and third one is the analog to digital converter. We knew that the function of the sensor. The sensor deducts physical signal from the environment. If the parameter being measured is not electrical, the sensor must include a transducer to convert the information to an electrical signal. Next one is the signal conditioning part. The signal conditioning module performs signal conditioning prior to analog to digital conversion. This module usually does the amplification, transducer excitation, linearization, isolation or filtering of deducted signals. This is the main function of signal conditioning part. Next one is the analog to digital converter. The analog to digital converter changes the deducted and conditioned voltage into a digital value. The converter is defined by its resolution and sampling frequency. The converter data must be previously time stamped to allow later sophisticated analysis. The next important part of the virtual instrument is sensor interface. There are many interfaces used for communication between sensor module and the computer. According to the type of connection, the sensor interfaces can be classified as wired and wireless. Wired interfaces are usually standard parallel interfaces such as GPIP, small computer system interface that is SCSI, system buses, for example, PCA extension for instrumentation, PXI or VMI extension for instrumentation that is called a VXI or serial buses, for example, RS-232 or USB interfaces. These are the example of the some wired interfaces. Compared to the wired interfaces, the wireless interfaces is most probably used because of the convenience of usage. The example of wireless interfaces are 802.11 family of the standards, Bluetooth or GPRS or GSM interfaces. These are the some of the example of wireless communication. Wireless communication is specially important for implanted sensor where cable connection is impractical or not possible. Moreover, Bluetooth define a self-identification protocol, allowing the network to configure dynamically and describe itself. In this way, it is possible to reduce installation cost and create plug-in play like network of sensors. Device miniaturization allowed development of personal area network that is called as a PAN of intelligent sensor. Communication with medical devices is also standardized with the IEEE 1073 family of standards. This interface is intended to be highly robust in an environment where devices are frequently connected to and disconnected from the network. These are the major advantages of wireless network connection. So, Nowadays, there are lots of applications used only in wireless interfaces. Next part of the virtual instrumentation is processing module. In processing module, the integration of general purpose microprocessor or microcontroller allowed flexible implementation of sophisticated processing functions as the functionality of virtual instrument depends very little on dedicated hardware which principally does not perform any complex processing functionality and appearance of virtual instrument may be completely changed utilizing the different processing functions. 
using processing module in virtual instrument may be classified as analytical processing and artificial intelligence techniques. In analytic function, define clear functional relation among input parameters. Some of the common analysis used in virtual instrumentation include, for example, spectral analysis, filtering, windowing, transforms, peak deduction, or curve fitting. In virtual instruments, often use various statistics functions such as random assignment and biostatistical analysis. Most of those functions can nowadays be performed in real time. In the field of artificial intelligent technology, it could be used to enhance and improve the efficiency, the capability and the futures of instrumentation in application areas related to measurement system identification and control. These techniques exploit the advanced computational capability of modern computing system to manipulate the sampled input signal and extract the desired measurements. In artificial intelligent technologies, for example, neural network, fuzzy logic, and expert system are applied in various applications, including sensor fusion of high-level sensors, system identification, prediction, system control, complex measurement procedures, calibration, and instrument fault deduction and isolation. The various nonlinear signal conditioning, including fuzzy logic and neural network, are also common tools in analysis of biomedical signal. Using artificial intelligence, it is even possible to add medical intelligence to ordinary user interface devices. For example, several artificial intelligence techniques such as pattern recognition and machine learning were used in a software-based visual field testing systems. Next important part of the virtual instrumentation is a database interface. Computerized instrumentation allows measured data to be stored for offline processing or to keep record as a part of the patient record. Next important part of the virtual instrument is a database interface. We have to collect the data and convert the data and store the data in the database interface. For we have to keeping the patient record or whenever we have to use the data in offline mode, this purpose we are using the database interface. Next one is the information system interface. Virtual instruments are increasingly integrated with other medical information systems such as hospital information system. They can be used to create executive dashboard supporting decision support, real-time alert and prediction warnings. Some virtual interfaces toolkit such as LabVIEW provide mechanism for customized component such as ActiveX object that allow communication with other information system. It hiding detail of the communication from virtual interface code. In web-based application, this integration is usually implemented using unified resource locator that is called as a URLs. Each virtual instrument is identified with URL. It receiving configuration settings via parameters. The virtual instrument then can store the result of the processing into a database identified with its URL. Next part of the virtual instrumentation is presentation and control. An effective user interface for presentation and control of virtual instrument affect efficiency and precision of an operator do the measurement and facilitate result interpretation. These are the important part of the virtual instrumentation architecture or block diagram of the virtual instrumentation. I hope all are understand about the virtual instrumentation architecture. Thank you.